Uh, AD, LeBron was joking that you know one of the keys to your was just having more guys that are sick around you uh, to, to make you sick to, to kind of get you that next level on this trip. Have you have you felt anything on this trip as you as you've just you know had a, a greater impact even than earlier in the season? Or me being sick? Well, not being sick, but just what 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 was it if if anything as you these last couple games LeBron was just saying you've taken your game up a little bit. Um, just gotten to a rhythm. Just getting to a rhythm. Um, Figuring out where, you know, I'm going to get most of my shots from. You know, what sets I'm going to get most of my shots from. And it's just, you know, about energy, playing hard. Um, that's really it, just taking my time, having got confidence in, in my game. Um, you know, but it's really just a rhythm. You know, I was out of the rhythm. Well, trying, I won't say out of rhythm. I was trying to find the rhythm early in the season. Um, and I had some good games, but um, I wasn't shooting too well from the floor. Um, and then ever since that, the day with me and Rondo um, played one on one in the facility, um, I kind of yeah. found the rhythm there and was able to carry that throughout um, the rest of the season so far. So, you know, for me, just trying to stay in the rhythm. With that coming and just seeing how you guys performed in three of the tougher places to win uh, in the Western Conference, uh, does, has that told you anything additionally about the team, even if that was clear when you guys were winning most every game in November? Uh, we feel like we can win anywhere. Um, you know, we feel like we're a good road team. Uh, obviously, on the road, when you have to come together even more, um, three tough environments to win in, and we're able to come in and, and take all three. But you know, we have our minds set on, you know, on something special, and we know in order to, you know, reach that goal, um, we have to stay in the moment and get, go game by game. And um, you know, we we take every game personal. You know, we want to go out there and. Um, Know, be the best team. You know, we want to be out there uh, winning each quarter. We want to be out there diving on the floor. We want to win in hustle points. You know, we want to win in rebounding. All the little things, and um, if we continue to do that, then we'll be fine. You know, we've you know given ourselves a challenge of we call it the Avery Challenge. You know, and ever since Avery been out, our defense has, uh, took a hit a little bit in the last three games. I'm not sure what it was tonight, but. Um, the last three games, we've been able to be the number one team in a defensive rating, um, and we want to get that every time, you know. So you know, we we lay our hats on defense, um, knowing that it's going to fuel our offense. You've never really been on a team, uh, I mean, since Kentucky anyway, that's been this much of a front runner uh, in the league. What are you learning about yourself as a guy who needs to find ways to grow and you know, challenge yourself when your team is ahead, when everyone's gunning? Um, I say to stay in the moment. I mean, we have a great team. We know that you know we're gonna get everybody, everyone's best shot. You know, when we step on, on the floor, no matter who we're playing against. But um, you know, it's fun. We gotta embrace it. You know, it's fun. You know, I just remember in Kentucky, anytime we stepped on the floor, no matter who it was, you know, we're gonna get to, we're gonna get their best shot. You know, they made a commercial out of our, one of the game winners in Kentucky. So. I mean, same same thing here. You know, when you're the number one team in the league, people are going to find a way um, to come out and and shoot a higher field goal percentage, you know, than what they normally shoot. Find ways to make shots, to get stops, um, play harder, um, and you know, we got to embrace that. It got to be fun for us um, coming in, having a challenge every single night. So um, it's fun for us, and you know, it's our job to lock in every night and make sure that we come out with a win. Yeah, 11 in a row on the road, 11 and 0 away from Staples Center. Their only loss coming on opening night. That was at Staples Center. They were the road team to the Clippers. I want to talk about AD first in his dominant performance through three quarters, guys. He had 39 points. That's where he finished. But he also had nine boards. He had three blocks. He had two steals. And Fish uh, doing it on both ends of the floor. You're talking about Rudy Gobert, Jokic, Whiteside getting switched out onto guards. McCollum, Murray, throughout this road trip, showing that he is 100% right now the best defensive player in the league, but offensively he's unstoppable, and he's feeling it from all over the floor. Yeah, I mean, he, he just looks really comfortable, and as great as he is, it, it's still, you know, this is a transition. You know, new team, new teammates, you know, playing in a, in a big market, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more, you know, kind of scrutiny day to day, and it, it all feels really easy and fluid uh, for AD. I think what James mentioned earlier about the time spent in the offseason, you know, where they really were able to have some conversations and start to build some chemistry and camaraderie before the season started. 
Uh, I, I do believe that's playing, uh, you know, a factor. But the one thing that just keeps coming to mind for me is these guys seem to just have a common shared vision of, of what kind of team they want to be. And everybody is holding themselves to that standard. And that's what's allowing them even early in this season to really play at high level. Yeah, it's a great point, Fish. And we talked a lot about the defense in these first two games on this trip. When you hold Denver to 96 in Denver, yeah. you hold Utah to 96 in Utah. Those are special things this team is doing. Tonight was all about the offense. And by the way, on this three-game trip, the Lakers averaged 121 points. So, that, you know, this is scary for the rest of the NBA when you have a team that can do these things defensively and then crank it up on the offensive end. And by the way, this 11-game road streak, longest for the Lakers since 1971-72. Hmm. So pretty impressive stuff right now. Bill yeah, really amazing. Yeah. And when you think about LeBron and AD, and, you know, when you're out on the road and you're playing a really good team, and we talked about it at halftime, <laughs> they're playing these – Incredible first half. Okay, you know Port Portland's going to come out throwing haymakers in that third quarter. Well, LeBron and AD, they end that. LeBron goes for what? 12, 14 in the first five and a half minutes of that quarter. They combine for 27 of the 33, and that's ball game fish. Yeah, no, they, it, <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day, how yeah. we had become accustomed to be, the belief that you need three, four all-stars, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, all NBA guys just to have a chance to win a championship in this new modern NBA. Uh, and I think that LeBron and AD are, are proving again that it's not how many of all NBA guys you have, it's the right ones. Mm -hmm. And these two guys are really committed to playing basketball the right way. And, and when your best players are willing passers, committed on the defensive end, sharing the spotlight, speaking highly of their teammates, playing hard on defense. The positive energy you're seeing from the top of the roster to the bottom of the roster, it, everybody's together, and, and the coaching staff deserves a lot of credit as well. It's a, it's a good virus to have. That's the kind of virus you want to have when you have your two leaders, and obviously it's contagious because you take a young player like Kuzma who's starting to understand by witnessing what he's seeing on a daily basis with these veteran players, not only – LeBron and Davis, but, you know, guys like Green and Dudley who've been there. So it's contagious. And, you know, it's almost like, you know, you're getting picked on outside and you're like, wait a minute, I'm going to get my big brother. And you go get LeBron and AD, <laughs> yeah. you come back and you clean all that up. So it's, it's a good backup to have, and you can see that the rest of the team are totally enrolled into what's going on in, with yeah. this team. Hey, Frank, so this, these three wins have come by at 50 plus points in what was thought to be one of the tougher road trips of the season. Uh, what, I know you're more of a game to game coach, but uh, what do you feel about the trip and the position that puts you in? Uh, I'm just impressed with our guys' uh, level of energy and focus. And uh, you know, to play on the road the way we played has, has been just impressive to me. Um, the guys are locked in. You know, we didn't have shoot around where you know, the, the, the rest, preparation, or work balance is always a tricky one. And um, you know, with three games and four nights, we didn't have a shoot around and asked, asked our guys to uh, really lock in on a film session, um, you know, to have the game plan in place uh, just mentally off of film. And you know, the Denver game, we did that. This game, we did that. And you guys performed at a high level. So uh, you know, I couldn't be, couldn't be more happy with, uh, with what we're doing on the road. Now LeBron and AD have to, seem to have such a strong connection. Do you think that filters down uh, to, the, to the rest of the team and the whole, helps the whole team cohesion? Absolutely. You know, those guys set the tone in a lot of ways, but uh, their cohesiveness to, you know, together and, you know, with the, with the two of them um, is a big part of the team's, oh, the overall team's chemistry, right? And the, uh, the positive energy and the togetherness we're trying to build. Again, we have a new group, you know, we're still trying to learn each other, um, you know, far from a finished product, but uh, definitely off to a good start. Just anything on Rondo? I know at halftime you said it had some hamstring tightness. Yeah, he had a left uh, left hamstring strain and uh, will be reevaluated tomorrow, considered day, day to day. What have you made of his play the last couple weeks? He's been exceptional. You know, he, he's, he's, I don't know, just given us a, a great boost. Reason, I think, that we went from playing a lot of close games to, you know, really separating ourselves in a lot of these games uh, is, is because of his play off the bench. And, um, you know, just him and LeBron uh, playing together this year uh, far better than they did last year, um, you know, is a really positive sign for our, for our team. You mentioned the energy. Um, what did Anthony Davis's energy do for you tonight? 15 points in the first quarter to allow you guys to get a momentum going? Uh, he's just a beast. You know,